Hey, good morning, guys. I am... I was on a wild goose chase this morning. <laughs> I got up super early. 3.30 in the morning to drive all the way up to the Delaware. Well, last night it was in the upper 300s, close to 400 around the, from the Hale Eddy Bridge gauge. Got up there, it was 1840. Oh my gosh. Three hour drive all the way up. So, actually up, all the streams up in that up, upper northeast corner of the state were just blown out. So I drove all the way back home. It's nine o'clock in the morning now, and I'm back on my little Lehigh Valley Limestone stream. I'm gonna give it another shot today. So maybe we'll do this video and just put it out a couple weeks later, uh, see how we do today. And I'm basically where I stopped on the lower section, I'm gonna start and just work my way back up to the upper section and see how we do, okay? So let's get busy. Enough chit chat. Uh, got on my hat. You know what? Let me adjust my hat for a second. Let me adjust my hat. Okay. So this camera is a lot heavier than my old one. So I gotta have my hat on tighter, which sounds like an easy fix, but it gives you a headache after a while. <laughs> so I am using Pertagons today again, small ones. Okay, well two Pertagons I'm using. Two Pertagons and a uh, a midge pupa. So I'm just going to see how that works. Um, I'm not that familiar with using Pertagons. Um, I mean, to me, it's just a nymph, but we'll see how it goes. Got a deep root underneath this bank over here. Got to get it under the tree. There's a deep root in there. Pretty close. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice fish. Hey, worked. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, nice fish. Man, good, good 14 inches. I wonder which one he's on. Ha ha ha. How about that? Third cast, deep root of the tree. Maybe there's another one. It looks like he's on the top fly, which is a, I don't even know what it's called. Honestly, I don't know what it's called, the fly. It's a dark body, dark body Pertagon. I'll show it to you. Bring him up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring him more line. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice fish. Yes. Look at that. Decent 14 inches. Got a silver bead, a red and black, well, like a burgundy body. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, man. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Let him go. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we at? Right here. Okay, let me get it untangled here and show it to you. Got a little gold, uh, I mean a, a silver bead. Um, it's got puff of brown collar and a red and red, it's got <laughs> a brown and black body rib with a little red butt on it. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but huh? that's all it is. Okay, let me get this. Got another one here. So I'm using that color. Then I got an olive below it, a little bit smaller, and then the midge pupa below that. So I don't know how this is all gonna work out today, but hey, that one worked. 
that one worked. Boy, he whacked it. He took it. Last time I was here, I picked up two out of here. And, uh, so, only that, this time of the day, my shadow is casting that way, so I got to stay back a decent amount here. Still not using any extra weight, but this is deeper. I think I should use it, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to judge these perdigons yet. So let's just see if I get hooked up, then I know I'm deep enough. If, I mean, if I get hooked on the bottom, if I'm drifting through and not tapping bottom, then I'll, I'll add a split shot. I guess a bigger I could put on a bigger uh Pertagon. Maybe I'll do that instead. I'm not top and bottom there at all. So, go up close to this ledge here. Boom. That was a fish. That was. He took everything. Ah, oh, that was a fish. God, six X man. I didn't set the hook that hard, but he took everything. Shit. Ah, okay. Hey guys, it looks like it's a good four foot deep. I don't think I have enough weight to get down to the bottom, so I added a split shot. Get up there. Oh, here he goes. There he goes. Okay. Add a little bit of weight. Add a little bit of weight. This isn't a big guy, but he was in. And he is on my second fly. This is a betis, but it's like a soft tackle betis. Little guy. Six, seven inches. Okay. Bees. Little soft tackle betis. Nice. Okay, so we went a little deeper and we got him. Okay. So. Oh, jeez. My other fly came off. <gasps> I don't know what happened to it. Let's twist it off. <laughs> Let me get another one. Okay, guys, we got this little cement. Square cement. Cage piling or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. But. Looks like a great holding area for some fishies. Work my way over to it. Boom. Hopefully there's one fishy in there. Get up 
There he goes. Oh, another nice fishy. Another nice fishy, a player. We got a player. These boys are acrobatic today. I mean, I love catching a fish, but boy, I get really excited just to find out what fly they're on. Because <laughs> I, I don't have much experience with Pertagon, so when I catch a fish on a fly that I don't have much, I'm not familiar with, don't know, don't have much confidence in, it's, it's exciting to me. <laughs> and this is the top fly, where I caught the very first, what I caught the very first, um, trout on that nice brown is another nice brown this one's about 13 i don't know let me see I don't, yeah I think, oh geez he gets them all tangled up though big time nah it's a good 12 incher good 12 incher but he is on that first top fly again oh boy I'll tell you what with that 6x they get tangled up There he is. Right, I'm gonna let him go forward. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay, let me get this tangle undone. Try to get it up against that branch hanging out. Oh, there he goes. Right up against that branch. Oh, there he goes. Ha ha ha. About 11 incher. There you go. Make sure my flies are good. Yeah, he was there. Let's see if there's another one. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. And these are all. Okay, guys, it's been a while. I got my next hook up here. Next to a busy, busy, busy highway. <laughs> I just changed a fly. I've been using the same thing for like the past hour and a half. I just put a, a different fly on. I'm real curious, always with these Pertagons, which one they're hitting. Ooh, nice fishy, nice fishy. If he's on this new fly, I will be. I don't think it is. I think it's on the, the, my middle fly. My new one I put on the bottom. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh no, he is on the new one. Ha <laughs> ha! You guys won't believe this. This is a bluish purple Pertagon. I'll show it to you. Or on, or on him. One of them was on his head, the other one was on his body. So I really don't know which one he was on. But, oh well, nice. 11 12 incher, brownie. So, I don't know what that one was hooked on. This, the uh, Betis soft tackle, was what was hooked right near his head on his gill plate. So maybe that's the one he was going for and just the other one just got tangled on him while he was fighting. Okay. There he goes, another one. Ooh. 
soft tackle again it looks like it that way to me I'm looking at my spit shot we'll see we'll see we'll see I don't know I'm trying to guess I'm trying to guess yes it is he's on the beta soft tackle so that's probably what that first one was on another one 11 12 inches there you go. I'll show you that beta soft tackle. Whee! See ya. He's a skinny guy. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it really that good. A gritty bead silver got a thread olive thread body with a gold grid and just a done soft tackle a done soft tackle that's it okay hey guys there's a mink right there on the bike see him running going up the culvert on time it was cute to see the mink running around Well, I changed my flies up again. I think there's a lot more fish in this run. I need to catch. <laughs> so, switching up my, before I move on to another hole, I want to throw some other bugs through this. This isn't a teeny little trout, this is a decent sized trout. And this one, I think is on the blue, a blue Pertagon. Well, I really committed to using Pertagons today. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice fish, look at that baby. Nice fish, right up against that bank. This guy's on the blue Pertagon. Come here, come here, come here. Look at that baby. Chew! Easy 15 inches. There you go, man. Okay, 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 okay. Look at that baby. Man. Easy 15 plus. Just gold, just gold, just. There you go. See ya. So let's show you that blue one. <laughs> it's so little. It's just blue with a black collar. There you go. Blue, silver rib, black collar, gold bead on a jig hook. Wow. That's awesome. I think it's the first well that's not like the peacock blue that me and ryan were catching them up on uh um and that was a size 18 that i i just showed you um we were using a peacock blue kind of like a purplish blue one 
um, up on the little J that time. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's any more in there. Against that bank, there's a little soft edge on that bank. Boom. Soft edge right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh! There's roots there too. Uh, olives are still flying around, but so windy. These windy days, I can't really see if they're coming off or these are the ones that already came off just flying around oh there's another one another one oh nice fish right on that soft edge <laughs> right up against those roots over there nice fishy again Let's see what this one's on this one's on this uh, i think this one's on the beta soft tackle Oh, he got off. But yeah, he was. He was. He looked nice. He looked, he's at 13, 14. I'm pretty sure he was on the beta soft tackle. I saw my top. I saw my top fly. But that was pretty good. Hey, I don't care if they get off. That was a nice little fight. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice one. Oh, oh, oh. You guys on? I hope so. I don't know. Okay, sorry for turning you guys off. <laughs> and he was up at the head. He was up at the head up there. Which one is he on? He's on the blue one too. He's on the blue one. Look at that. That blue one's working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Birdie, 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 birdie. Oh, there you go. There you go. He was right over. Ooh, my fish. He was right over there. He got that tree root. Get him over here. That's pretty good. Olive soft tackle, the baby soft tackle. Nice fish. Let you go. 
gorgeous. Get that. Okay. That was this over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me show you here. Again. Just an olive. Olive thread body with a gold wrap. Soft tackle round and a silver bead. Simple, simple. It's truly not a Pertagon, but it's in my Pertagon box because they're all kind of a little similar. So. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. God, I'm on film for you guys. He whacked it. Oh, there he goes. <sighs> he was nice. He was nice. Good 13, 14 inches. Uh, let me check my flies, make sure they're good. Uh, they look good. I don't know which one he was on. Oh. See what we do here. Uh, slide my split shots up a little. Too close to that top one. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> nice and deep. Okay. Yeehaw! Not a big one. That's okay. There you go. This is on the first one. The upper one. The deepest one. This is the one. I don't know if this is a bread crust, but it's kind of our cinnamon toast. It's kind of like a light brown, dark brown ribbed. Uh, my buddy gave it to me. There you go. Nice little 8-incher. Okay, show it to you. Caught the very first fish of the day on it. I don't, I don't know what it was called. Oh, that's the other one. It's got a little red butt on it. So, there it is. It's ribbed or it's like a quill body, brownish, light brown, dark brown. With a little red butt, a little bit of hair up near the collar, and a little cocktail on the tail. Okay. We can get another one. That's pretty cool. Right away. There's another one. There's another one. Two kids, two fish. Yeehaw! How about that? How about that? Oh man. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, he's a little buggered up. The rainbow. Rainbow. It's okay. Little rainbow. He got whacked by a blue heron. Come here, come here, come here. You're out. You're, I think you're even off already. You are. Huh. See, 10 inch, 10, 11 inch, you see? Got whacked. But he's doing good. Go out, have some fun, let some guys catch you. Besides me. Hey guys, let's get back underneath this bamboo again. Boom. There he goes. There he goes, right in that bamboo. Right in that bamboo. Nice. Man, he whacked it. Oh, he got off. He was on the top one again. Man, that sucker. <laughs> Get off. That was pretty good, though. That was fun. 
I'm sorry, I'm showing, I'm showing you, you know, ones I'm catching and getting off, but yeah, it's okay. That was pretty neat. Let's try that again. Maybe there's two in there. Boom. Boom. There he goes. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang. Oh, well. There he goes. Oh, nice fish. A second one. Lost that first one. Got the second guy, though. Right up in the head. Right up in the head. Oh. Uh, I think he's on the top one. Cause I don't see it. Yep, he's on the top one. That cinnamon one. Okay. He's a jumper. Come on. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, he's only got 12 inches. Boy, they sure fight good. Okay. Go, go, go. Huh. This one's going to be right up against the edge here. That's a nice dark edge. Oh, uh, what is that? That was a fish. I had. That's a palomino. Ah, I had him. I must be stocked way upstream. He's right in there. You see that light color? I had that palomino. There he goes. Now he's running over there now. Ah, nuts. I had him. Hey guys, that's it. That's the end of our day here. Uh, we had a really good day. We salvaged the day because my day started with me waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, leaving my house at 3.30 and going all the way up to the Delaware, finding out that it was blown out. I didn't check the flow before I left, but last night it was beautiful while well, they upped it overnight. So, um, so I salvaged the day, came all the way back home, fished my little uh, Lehigh Valley limestoner, and... Uh, I think we landed probably a good a good dozen or more fish had about six seven get off that I was fighting so that's you know, close to 20 fish today on this this is a tough stream to fish this is a really tough stream to fish at least I think so and um, so I hope you enjoyed it um, I pretty much focused on pertagons today and but I, I I didn't figure anything out the problem just kind of just getting used to them drifting them Casting them was a pain for me. I mean, I I can cast my heavy Delaware rig better than I can, can I, better than I can cast these Pertagons. I have no idea what the weight distribution or how, but even when I use like a water load cast downstream and flick it upstream, I was still having problems. My accuracy was so off. I was getting caught in trees, and I lost so many <laughs> at the first first uh, hour and a half of the day. I was using 6x, and I had three fish break me off. And uh, I just, I mean, I, I'm an input six, seven, eight X even. And I, I, I don't know what the deal was today, but I surely didn't have the touch. <laughs> so, um, but still got into fish, still landed uh, some, some decent ones. And, um, and uh, so I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And like I always say, I don't know where I'm going. 
I've been striking out a lot lately, and um, last past three weeks I've been tough for me to kind of score good on pricks, so, um, and where I'm choosing. So, uh, let's get all this snow melt out of the way. We got beautiful weather, and let's get the bugs popping and get the, fi get, get the fish catching. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.